It was what I called a demolition experiment in which we're going to show that a gyroscope, once again, well, another further demonstration that a precessing gyro does not have angular momentum, what is commonly known as inertia, and yet the same speed, if it, had, if it was not spinning, would demolish that that it could not demolish before. So first of all, yeah, we'll spin up... Uh, we've got this rod. The mistake we made last time was to put it through a hole. This time we've clamped it really tight. OK, Bill. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Did you see that? As soon as it touches the rod, it drops like a stone and returns. It has not the, the, the inertia to knock that off. So now we clamp it and we turn. The other thing we didn't do last time was to uh, make sure that this um, baseboard was firmly secured against something to make it like a hard wall. If you don't do that, then, of course, everything gives way. Spin it from the top side. Now, we have calculated. You saw me blowing a note there on the recorder. That was so that I could listen to the note of the wind over the Pelton bucket so that I could get the speed appropriate to the angle which I am now going to drop the gyro from. When it lines up with that shadow there, then that is the correct height to give the same velocity at the bottom as we hit it before. And this time, I hope, fingers crossed, not quite. Once more. Now, you can work out the sums and find that the velocity was the same. 